Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about mindfulness and leadership. Welcome to Invincible Innovation Live Show. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm Dima Zorkario, Product Innovation and Value Creation Expert, and I'll be your host. And today I have a very special guest. Hi, Karen. I don't hear you well right now. You're, I think you're muted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Dr. Karen Tsuk is a thought leader in leadership in the 21st century and founder of Wisdom to Lead. And, and she's a friend. And she's the first uh, interviewee that, that is living like five, 10 minutes away from me. And I'm still doing it online. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so happy that, you, uh, happy that you're here, Karen. We're, we're live in, like, on LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. And you're so invited to join the discussion and ask questions. Great. So this, this topic is, is really interesting for me, and I'm sure that uh, the listeners and viewers would love it. So why do you think mindfulness is so important for leadership today? You know, because we, as we all know, we're experiencing a lot of uncertainty, brutality, ambiguity, and we really need to be able to lead in these uncertain times and to have an anchor and to be present in the this hectic reality and not to be moved by the change of winds, winds of change and be uh, have a center and always come back to our center and to be able to listen better to ourselves, to our employees, to our customers' needs, to the changing needs of the market. So it's a crucial ability nowadays. You know, if till now it was a nice to have, today, as I see it, it's a critical and crucial element that we all need to embrace and nourish. Yeah. Do you think that now it is different than like before the pandemic? Yes, for a lot of reasons. Because, you know, first of all, the pandemic caused us all uh, to feel a lot of anxiety, stress, burnout. So we really need to be able to handle this unpleasant feeling that we are feeling, right? And as leaders, especially to engage our employees from a different place and be there for them also in the hybrid workplace. Uh, to engage them, to see them emotionally, to be there for, with their struggles. So this is the first challenging things that we all are going through. The second one for leaders, I think, again, it's the ability. Uh, we need to be able also to reinvent ourselves, right? We're talking about innovation. So the pandemic caused us all to pause and ask ourselves questions, right? And to fine tune our products, our services, our offering. So we really need to be able to uh, reinvent ourselves, our companies, our offerings. So and mindfulness enables us this because it enables us really to listen to what's needed right now and not be caught out in our stories and in our head, but really be present with what is needed in, to act in an agile way, in really quick. Yeah. So, so uh, first I want to tell the, the listeners that I've been to your course and it's really interesting and insightful and I learned a lot. And, and I think that the most important part, as I see it, is just to, to be like all focused because sometimes mm -hmm. you're so scattered around and you see so many things that you want to be focused on what is needed from you right now. And sometimes um, we, we live in a very, very, very fast world and now even more. And sometimes we don't have even the time to think about what we want to think about. We're just doing all the time, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think that, that leaders, especially if we're thinking about the Israeli uh, tech team, which is so fast, they're just doing things, right? and, and doing things is very important, but sometimes they don't stop and think, um, even not business-wise. So business-wise, you could do things and sometimes work, something not, decision-making. Even in your life, is it, is it what you want to do? Is it exactly the lifestyle, the pace that you want to live in? Do you, do you meet people talking about that? First of all, you know, it's according to your other question, it's what coronavirus causes us to do, to pause and ask ourselves really tough questions. And I agree with you because till a lot of us till now worked our life out of automatic pilot. They didn't stop and ask themselves tough questions. Is this the, the life I want to have? Is this the time I want to invest? Is it the right thing for me? I'm doing it because of I'm already here and, you know, it pays well, so I, I will stay here. 
So it's a, and this is actually what mindfulness enables us to do because you know we usually are really you know doing more than the traditional leadership talks about leaders as having the re right resource, doing the right stuff. However, the new leadership talks about the ability to pause and really listen deeply to what's needed. So you know I talk in my research in my book about holding tensions, and this is a crucial element after being present as leader. We need to able to hold tensions because the organizational world contains a lot of tensions, right? Between the employees' needs and the uh, organization needs, between the long term and the short term, between quality and speed. There's a lot of uh, tensions, but the most, as I see, the crucial tension that sits beside uh, beneath all of them is the tension between the doing mode and the booing mode. So it means, as you said. Pausing and listening to ourselves and fine tuning our pet in a way. Maybe we need to pivot. Maybe the product that we are so in love with, it's not the right uh, product that our customers need. And then we need to pivot. But if we won't stop to listen to what's needed, we will, you know, like the dogs, run after our tails but won't achieve anything. So it's a crucial element for leaders and entrepreneurs and people who want to be innovative to be able to pause and listen. And then we are doing, but we're doing out of being so it's much more accurate and we can have much more creative and innovative comp companies and products so yes i think it's a crucial crucial thing yeah. and it's not easy to us because it feels like a waste of time you know going yeah. to meet now people and drinking coffee with them you know i also heard a, a new uh, definition talks about serendipity i'm listening to a book now right yeah. so it, it's this right so it enables creativity going to to a community meeting with our employees and only being there for the sake of being, but only if I, by connecting deeper with people and listening to different things, and you're thinking emerge that we didn't think about it right now, right?